This is the threshold between your world and the realm of Meliora. If you are willing, a heroic adventure and shining victories await beyond this door. I hope that you are ready to take magic into your hands. Allow me to finally introduce myself. I am Aurelius, time traveler and master spellcaster. I would bow if I could. This is a pocket dimension. Whatever you do here has no impact on the world outside. Don't panic, you can leave whenever you want, but I'd appreciate a moment of your time. Get your teleportation spell ready. Any respectable wizard can safely teleport without seeing exactly where they are going. Touch this glyph, and I will show you a... It's one thing to cast a spell, quite another to hit a target. Try with those crystals. That was acceptable. Let's move on. Teleport to the next platform when you're ready. You can also teleport to any flat surface you can see. And don't get lazy. Use your legs, too. Go on, break some stuff. I hear it's fun. But remember to look up. The platforms allow you to reach higher ground when you're stuck. Another spell you will need is the Arcane Shield. It will deflect melee and ranged attacks. Give it a spin. Our 
cast fireball now. Of these goblins and move on. <laughs> you can't cross this barrier, whether by magic or on foot. It will disappear when no more targets are around. Try to teleport again. Now I'm going to show you a more powerful spell, the Frostbow. I believe you'll find it quite useful. The bow dissipates after a few shots. Ice, as you know, is not the most flexible material. Take as long as you need to practice, but remember, we have times and places to be. You are now in the Sanctum. Step inside and make yourself at home. It was built by another wizard a long time ago. You should fit right in.
Before you is a map of Meliora. The figurines represent the locations you will travel to. Pick one up and place it in the large slot. To the left of the map is my collection of fate cards. They give you the chance to revisit your battles in makeshift alternate universes, where some details are different from the history you know. They don't really affect our time stream, but whatever you gain and learn there stays with you. If you want to play with fate cards, choose a region, then the cards you want to use, and then the stage you'd like to revisit. Some cards are mutually exclusive and therefore can't be used at the same time. Now take the segment with gems on it. It will take you to the time and place of battle. Place it in the slot closer to you. What makes this realm special are these rifts. These openings lead into strange dimensions and allow raw magical energy to flow into our world. Do forgive me the lecture and please carry on if I'm boring you, but I personally find the topic fascinating. Only a true wizard can summon such energy by themselves, but many Meliorans specialize in using rift magic to create some incredibly useful enchanted objects. A blade only wounding the wielder's opponent is but the beginning of what can be achieved. Now, enter the goblins. Cunning, greedy, and ornery on the best of days. They have craved our weapons for ages, but the mere thought of paying fairly is repulsive to them. In the end, they always resort to force to obtain what they want. Their army of orcs has snuck into Meliora. Should they succeed, the invaders will easily overpower the realm and its guardians. It would be really nice of you to defeat them, otherwise the future will turn rather ugly very fast. You may not feel like you have big stakes in it, but I do find myself dreading the return of the grim reality I have worked hard to avert. We're a bit off. The time is right, but the place is not. Looks intriguing. Can you break it apart to see what's inside? Hey, one of my fate cards. Lucky find. You need to get into the ruins. A 
Oh, look, that's a nice view of Pinewood. Wait, something's wrong. Nobody seems to be around. The people must be scared of these airships. Now, take care of yourself, friend. There's only so many hits you can take. Keep an eye on the back of your hand to know your limits. what we're here for, would you? that big. This orc can sure take a beating. <laughs> These ruins are quite famous, but astonishingly little is known about them. There is a rift in one of the remaining towers, and my favorite theory about the history of this place is that it was a wizard king's palace that was abandoned after the rift opened. <laughs> Very shard. If you drain three of those, you'll get more spell potential. Oh, the stairway is blocked, and I don't see another way down from here. Well, this is inconvenient. Get hit with debris and killed, did you? Well, I can't say it didn't work. 
The way is open. Oh, splendid! The sand from this hourglass can reinforce your synchronization with the timeline. Break it if you need it. The presence of these crystals worries me. They often form around corrupted rifts and are great for providing power for spells, but they're quite volatile. It takes great skill or recklessness to use them. Like you'll have to break through a wall to go further.
It's a dragon! Duck! Is it friendly? I think it's friendly. Or at least neutral. Dragons never cared much for the affairs of lesser beings. Get to some higher ground. We'll see where you need to go from up there. No, oh, bummer. I suppose it was too much to hope we could just cross an open area unchallenged. Are we still trapped? Hmm, well, that doesn't seem right. There must be an anchor powering the barriers around here. Ah, huh. such a large crystal is dangerous, even when it's not holding any spell. You should destroy it before... Oops, that got their attention. Make sure your spells don't. form. And it seems our path is finally clear. Well done, my young apprentice. I think that massive crystal was somehow responsible for Pinewood appearing lifeless earlier. I can hear the village life returning to normal. Here on out, it should be smooth sailing. Have some fun shooting enemies. I'll, um, I'll provide moral support. Very well. Practice more if you like. You are going to have plenty of moving targets soon enough. The orange glyph behind you will return you to the sanctum.
I have a housewarming gift for you. Come over here. This is my spellbook. As I pass it to you, it will now show you your progress in the study of magic and the spells you will learn in the future. The glyph will take you into the pocket dimension that you already know and where you can practice. Combs. I've heard outlandish stories about what lies beneath the ruins. None of it's ever confirmed. There was, however, proof of a burial chamber somewhere in the deep dungeons with an unmarked but ornate tomb. It might hold the remains of the legendary wizard that built this castle. But what do I know? Button. What are those called again? Pressure plates? Traps? Hmm. Well, one way to find out, yes. <laughs> some crowded here. Then out to the herd, would you?
Have you ever played The Floor is Lava? Because I feel like the situation is becoming a little heated. Could we have stumbled into the Mage King's own resting place? Powerful people rarely rest in peace. You should be wary. What have we here? A 